In today's video, I will show you how to use the Pexels API. This API allows access to free stock photos and videos. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up with Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. Once you've completed all the steps in a video, we will now be able to hit send and see the response back from the Pexels API. In this specific example, we're just getting back images that are related to nature and we're getting back three different results. Looking at the results, this is one of the photos that was returned from the Pexels API. It gives us all the information about the photo, including a URL. Once we click on it, we will now be able to see the image itself. Also, just before we start, I will have a link in the description and in the comments where you can download and import all of the API calls that I make in this tutorial completely for free. This way, you don't have to manually recreate the API calls. To get started, we just need to go to the pexels.com. Once you're on this page, just sign up for an account, which we can do by clicking on join here and just click I want to download. Sign up for a new account if you don't already have one or just log into your existing account. I'm just going to fill out the information here real quick. Then I will click on create new account. Click whatever options you want. Click either option, I'll just do no thanks for now. Once you're back on the home page, just hover over your profile icon and click images and video API. On the left hand side, click on your API key. Also, just as a note, make sure to confirm your email address before doing this step. I just confirmed my email, so I'm not seeing that warning anymore. Now we just need to generate our Pexos API key, which we can easily do by just filling out this form. So I'm just gonna fill it out by typing in a project name. I'll just do tutorial like five for this example. For a project category, just select the option that applies most to you. I'm just gonna do personal use for right now. And then in the box, just briefly explain what the use is. I typed in my description here. And just also note that it needs to be a minimum of 50 characters at least. Then click on the checkbox and then click on generate API key. You should now see your API key here. Just copy it as we will need it later. Now we can just click on this button to start reading the documentation for the Pexels API. The first API call I want to show is the one I showed earlier in the example. And that's going to be this API call to search for a photo. Looking at documentation, we can see that it takes in multiple parameters, but the only required parameter is this one called query, and that's going to be the item that we're searching for. In the previous example, I passed in nature, and so that's why we got back photos of nature. To start making this API call, all we have to do is copy the URL that you see over here, switch over to Postman, make sure you create a new request, and make sure it's a get request, and just paste in the URL that we just copied. Then we just have to make one more change, which is adding the authorization header. And so you can easily do that by just typing in authorization as the key. And for the value, just paste in the API key that we generated earlier. Once you're done with that step, you can now hit send. And we can now see the response back from the Pexels API. If you wanted to look up pictures about food instead of nature, we can easily do that by going back to the query params page. And for the query key, just switch out the value with food and just hit send. And the result we get back would now be a food related photo. You can also change the per page query param, which will allow us to get back more results. Right now, just returning us back one result. But if we change this to say three and then hit send, we can now see that we're getting back three different results this time. The next API call I want to show is the curated photos API call. This API call will return real time photos curated by the Pexels team. To make this API call, we're just going to do the exact same thing before. We're just going to copy the URL here, go to Postman, just make a new get request paste in what we just copied. Make sure to add your authorization header with your API key. And once you've done those steps, just hit send. Looking at the result, we get back one curated photo, but just like before, we can increase this by just like changing this number from like one to three. And now we'll get back three different curated photos. And just like before, we can click on the URL to see what the image is. The next API call I want to show is searching for videos. So if we go back to documentation and click on search for videos, just like the previous API call, we just need to pass in a query for the item that we're searching for. Just like before, just copy the URL that you see here, go to Postman, just create a new get request and just paste in what we just copied. Make sure to add authorization header, then hit send. Looking at the result, we get back a video with all the information about this specific video, including a URL. And if we click on that, it'll lead us straight to a video that should start automatically playing. The last API call I want to show is how to get popular videos that are currently on Pexels. You can read more about the documentation here, but to make this API call, we're just going to do the exact same thing before. Just copy the URL, create a new get request, update our authorization header, and then just hit send. Looking at the result, we can now see we get back three different videos, and all these videos are considered like popular videos by Pexel. And if we click on the URL, we'll be able to see the video itself, as well as like an image, the user who uploaded, and all this other information that they offer. And that's the end of this Pexels API tutorial. I only showed a few of the API calls that they offered, but now hopefully you have a better understanding of how you can make any of the Pexels API call that you need. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more great content.